Hiya, Honest Discussioner here. This is a video response to Grappling Ignorance, but before I get into that, I actually want to mention another video that is not the subject of this video that Grappling Ignorance made, a response to Foamy the Squirrel about teachers and bullying. I really, really hope that um, you all go down in the underbar when you get the chance and watch that video. It's an excellent description of the challenges and problems that teachers face uh, and how they you know, the situation that they're put in. As a guy that's incredibly pro-education, incredibly pro-teacher, is has been dating a teacher for over five years now, um, I think teaching is one of the most important professions, and the way the grappling ignorance describes the situation uh, is very, very thorough, uh, and is something I think most people should see in order to better understand teachers in education, especially in the context of bullying. Uh, but it goes beyond that as well. Uh, now that I've plugged him, I'm going to actually criticize him. This is a response to his latest video, Nature of the Beast, uh, where he is criticizing the Occupy Wall Street movement um, uh, along with Meridian Frost, to whom he was responding. Uh, instead of just extra describing what his issue is, I'll let him describe it for, you, uh, for me. One of the overlying themes with the Occupy movement has been the problem of 1% of America owning a very disproportionate amount of the country's wealth, and that intrinsically being a problem. I too recognize the problem of the massive gap between the rich and poor being the greatest it's been since just before the Great Depression. However, Meridian Frost brought up the very relevant point of the vast majority of Americans falling into the 1% of comparably disproportionate wealth holders on a global scale. However, we don't seem to have much of a problem with that. Those of us fortunate enough to have heat, air conditioning, hot water, and electricity have manifold the standard of living that the wealthiest kings on earth used to have. It's easy for the lower middle class to look at the super wealthy and suggest how effortlessly they could live by the lower middle class standard and just give up so many of the excessive amenities their current lifestyle enjoys. All of that extra wealth could be much better used in the hands of those barely able to scrape by, but we don't often consider how the people in other parts of the world or even in our own country who are essentially starving from the moment they're born until the moment they die could say the same to us. I'll just address grappling ignorance directly. I think the issue here is that you've basically strawmanned the Occupy Wall Street movement. And I don't think you've done this intentionally. I'm not trying to imply that you're doing anything dishonest. I think you have a misperception about what the Occupy movement is about. I've never heard anyone describe their issues with uh, society in the way that you have uh, described how you believe their issues are. Um, it's not the idea from what I've seen and from who I've talked to uh, on the internet and also when I went to the Philadelphia Occupy Wall Street movement um, in person, it's not the idea that there are rich people and there are poor people and that rich people are just living unfairly simply because they're rich and there are other people that need food and clothing. I don't think that's the issue. If that were the case, people would be having more criticism and more ire against people like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett who have way more money than the people that they're actually criticizing, the Wall Street bankers and executives and politicians. Uh, so that's one reason why I don't really think uh, your description is very accurate of them. Uh, from what I can ascertain, the major issue of the Occupy movement is that the system is basically rigged, that it's an unfair game, that the people that have power, money, and influence are using that to unfairly rig the system in their own favor and keep people down. If someone were to earn their fortune, earn millions of dollars through hard work and legitimate business practices, um, you know, using their talent and uh, their time, I don't think people have an issue with that. I personally don't have an issue with that, and I don't know many people that do. I mean, you'd have to be like fully 100% socialist to have any type of uh, issue with that, and I don't think the majority of uh, people in the movement want a pure socialist system. If it was the case that they were just didn't like any rich people at all, or that they had an issue with uh, wealth disparity, on any, by itself without any sort of caveats they wouldn't be buying things from corporations they wouldn't have iPhones I don't think they should have iPhones anyway I think they should all get Android phones uh, but that's neither here nor there 
I don't see where you got the idea that it was anything other than this. I know the mainstream media does tend to paint them as that, but I've never heard anyone actually try to describe them the way you described it. it. It seems to be more about gaming the system and using unfair practices and trying to keep people down so that they can have even more, trying to make sure that people have their houses foreclosed on to make money, trying to make sure people have their lives ruined so that they can have way, way more money than they need. That seems to be the issue here. I've rambled on long enough. Let me know what you think. Have a nice day. Honest Discussionary, out.